Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth, humans and monsters. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, legends say those who climb the mountain never return. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the Flower! Hmm... You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused! Someone ought to teach you how things work around here! I guess little old me will have to do... Ready? Here we go! <coughs> See that heart? That's your soul! The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can! Hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullet! Friendliness pellets. <laughs> What's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die! <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah. Oh. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of these ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come down here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. To proceed here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you will need to flip. Splendid! 
I am proud of you, little one. Let us move on to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple how do you do? You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Oh, listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shinkles! Well, I thought it was amusing. You, uh, encountered the dummy. Dummy stands around. Absent-mindedly? You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Boreal seems happy with you. You won! Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Froggit attacks you! Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done Excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have any need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Hello? This is Toriel. For no particular reason. Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello? This is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn your nose up if you found it on your plate? Right. Right. I understand. 
Thank you for being patient, by the way. Hmm. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Are they gone yet? This ghost just keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. <sighs> Move it with force. Here comes Napstablook. Hmm. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. The faint odor of ectoplasm permeates the vicinity. You gave Napstablook a patient smile. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Napstablook looks just a little bit better. You told Napstablook a little joke. <laughs> Cheering seems to have improved Napstablook's mood again. Napstablook wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blook. Do you like it? Nabstabluk eagerly awaits your response. Uh oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Ooh. Spider bake sale? All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the webbing? Some spiders came down and gave you a donut? did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hold it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute and tidy house gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So, I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. <laughs> Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Look at all these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. 
There are so many old books I want to share. I want to share my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? What? This... this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I have to do something. Stay here. You wish to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Toriel prepares a magical attack. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Torian looks through you. Attack or run away! What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave! I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise, I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> oh. 
pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave these ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? <laughs> and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future! Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting! you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp.
What's up, bro? Ah, you know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? Ah, no! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will finally ask to be my... friend? <laughs> I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm... Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping! You lazy bones! All you ever do is boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Uh, Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Uh, actually, hey... Hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, Sans! I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Uh, <clears throat> human, you shall not... This area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then... Uh, then... I'm not sure what happens next. In any case, continue! Only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Don't move an inch.
Doggo can't seem to find anything. Pet. You pet Doggo. What? I have been pet. Bark, bark, pet, 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 pet. Doggo has been pet. He <laughs> won. S -s -s Something pet me. Something that ain't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. You are so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one <laughs> quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Ah! <sighs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold this, please. Okay, try now! Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It was designed by my brother, Sans! You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Showman, I hope you're ready for... Eh. Sans, where is the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Uh, Sans, they didn't even look at it! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you just said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy-peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble to be so difficult. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble, just to appease my brother. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti! Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you! You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you are progressing! Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. <sighs> All of the settings say spaghetti. Knowing the mouse might one day Find a way to heat up the spaghetti? It fills you with determination. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Whee!
What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Really? Wowee! You resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Oh, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, it's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like. But if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue tiles are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Great! There's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Showman! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing up and down violently! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the holdup? Holdup? What holdup? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well! This challenge... It seems... Maybe... Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. This method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Who? What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! Yeah! I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Welcome to Snowden Town! The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yo, you're a kid too, 
right? <laughs> I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have another cool smart person think you're cool. These feelings, they must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Oh, worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No! This is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You're human! I must capture you! Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful! Popular! Prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! The Papyrus blocks the way. What? Flirting? So... You finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. <laughs> Let's go on a date later, after I capture you. So, you won't fight. So let's see how you handle my fabled blue attack! You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. Hmm. I wonder what I should wear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing! Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Papyrus stabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti! Undyne will be really proud of me! The king will trim a head in the shape of my smile! My brother? Well, he won't change very much. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. I'll have lots of admirers, but would anyone like me as sincerely as you? Papyrus is trying really hard to play it cool. Dating might be kind of hard. Ah, who cares? Give up! Give up or face my special attack! Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Behold! My special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh. I'll just use a really cool, regular attack. Sai, here's an absolutely normal attack. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I see you. Shaking in your boots. Therefore, I 
the great papyrus, I'd like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus oh. is sparing Ooh. you. I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne is going to be so disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard! And my friend quantity will remain stagnant! What should you say? Really? You? Want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wowee! We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to do to make pals was give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal keeping us all trapped underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then, us monsters can return to the surface! Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fluffy pushover! Everybody loves that guy! I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the surface himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, being a cool friend. <laughs> Feel free to come by and have that <laughs> date. <laughs> Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up! Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Oh, never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required bricks. I'm gonna grill these. Wanna come? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Everyone! Hey, Sans. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hey, Sans. <laughs> hey, Sans. Weren't you just in here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least a half hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grubby, we'll have a double order of Berg. So, what do you think of my brother? <laughs> of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Ah, well, at least he washes it. 
And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Bon appetit! <laughs> you tip the ketchup. The cat falls off and spills all the ketchup onto your food. Whoops. Ah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Just kidding. Ruby, put it on my tab! By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, <laughs> regarding that human I called you about earlier, Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Well, uh, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? You don't have to destroy them! You see... Understand. I will help you in any way I can. Was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! <laughs> Wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together? Can't be wrong. The king will prove that. I 
wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its strength allows it to persist outside the human body. Even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There was something very unsettling about this drama. Did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face again! Man, aren't you unlucky? If you were standing a little to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now, it never will. Yo! You can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> Let's go! Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo! 
How cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to hurt an innocent person. Is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> the humans. Afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly, and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives. We surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here. Forever. I'm thinking about moving into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. I was about it. Use the telescope? <laughs> Aren't you satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Just one, but it's kind of stupid. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This was the power the humans feared. Prophecy. The angel. The one who has seen the surface. They will return. And the underground will go empty.
Sounds like it came from over here. You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. <laughs> Kara, huh? That's a nice name. My name? It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Intimidated to fight me, huh? I am the ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too. Then you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, it spooked them right out of their dummy. Human! I'll scare your soul right out of your body! <laughs> Mad Dummy blocks the way. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. No one is happy with this. Futile, futile, futile! Dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Uh... Hey! You! Uh... Forget I said anything about magic. Mad Dummy is looking nervous. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Your sold across the barrier. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Dummy is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. And everything I want will be mine! <laughs> uh. huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. <laughs> pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well... Failures! You're all fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people who aren't garbage! Mechanical worms fill the room. Tommy Bots? Magic Missile!
Mad Dummy is hopping mad. Dummy bots, you're awful! <laughs> Dummy bots, final attack! Doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever! 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 <laughs> you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um... Feel free to come with, if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see, or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Anything you want to know? Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Well, <laughs> that's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. Well, <laughs> great name, huh? It says I always say, Oh, King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Hmm, that emblem actually predates history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it that an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that circle the angel of death. The harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, do well, I just think it looks neat? What? <laughs> Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. What? <laughs> Be careful out there, kid. Beha. 
find you. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne! I'll help you fight! Uh... <laughs> Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to watch her fight! Wait... Who's she fighting? Ow! Hey! You're not gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Onion-san! Onion-san, you hear? <laughs> You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I, uh, have to sit down all the time. But hey, hey! That's okay! It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. <laughs> Like all of my friends did! And. The crayon's full, anyway, so. Even if I wanted to, I. That's okay, though! Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey there! That's the end of this room! I'll uh, see you around! Have a good time! In Waterfall! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Yo, you're a human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean... Undyne told me, STAY AWAY FROM THAT HUMAN! So, like... Um... I guess that makes us enemies, or something. But... I kinda stink at that. <laughs> Yo... Say something mean so I can hate you? Please? Yo... What, so I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts! Man, I'm... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Whoa! Ah! Yo! Wait! Help! I tripped! Yo, dude, if, 
if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Phew. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's human history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen, but you? You're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again? And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose! Now, human, let's end this. Right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be! Here I come! On guard! Undyne attacks. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape! Unless you learn to face danger head on! You won't last a second against me! Undyne draws her finger across her neck. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. And now, sunlight is just within our reach! Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Ugh. I won't let you snatch it away from us! Undyne suplexes a huge boulder, just because she can. Ugh. Enough warming up! Smells like sushi. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. No 
human has ever made it past Asgore! Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Killing you now is an act of mercy! So stop being so damn resilient! Don't slow me down. You've escaped from me for the last time! Alfie's told me humans were determined. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. I see now what she meant by that. But I'm determined too! Determined to end this right now! Right now! Right now! Die already, you little brat! Hey! What's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up in her house later. Stop running away! But I can't... give up. She looks dry. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? You take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? My god. Uh, I, I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I, I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Uh... Hi, yeah. I'm Dr. Elfies. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of those bad guys. Actually, since you've stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... Been, uh, serving your journey through my console, your fights, your friendships, everything. I originally was going to stop you, but watching someone on screen really makes you root for him. So, so, so ah, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. N no problem. Er, well. Actually, um, there's 
Just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. You know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, I recently decided to make him more useful. Heh. <laughs> you know, just some small, practical adjustments. Like anti anti human combat features but uh, of course when i saw you coming i immediately decided i have to remove those features <laughs> uh, unfortunately i may have made a teensy mistake while doing so and um now there's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood <laughs> Or something. Oh no. body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Right! Sounds like you get it! Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Correct! What a terrific answer! Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you! Two trains, three days, 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 in the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kisses Beauty, what are the Mew Mew's favorite? Oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach. And he buys ice cream for all of her friends. But it's snail flavor, and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. A and... Alfie's, Alfie's, Alfie's. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question you'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Why would someone outfit an amusement robot with brutal combat capabilities? Simple. To impress Mr. Asgore Dreamer, of course. Or as Alphys calls him, Mr. Dreamy! Oh, those strong arms! That lustrous beard! Like all those who create weapons, she craves the tender embrace of a burly man. Can she truly be blamed? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. certainly was... something. Th that last question... He wasn't supposed to ask that one. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Th then, maybe, I if you need help, I could... W where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. You have texting. W wait, wait a second, please. Ah! Here, I upgraded it for you. 
It can do texting, items, it's got this keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> Going to the bathroom. Just realized I didn't watch a night with a human. Ugh. Mm. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. This structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by, uh, 
Yeah, anyway, that's where we're gonna go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. From there, you can go home. It's a picture of a cat girl next to a bowl of instant noodles. Oh, are we posting hot pics? Here's me and my cool friends. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. <laughs> LOL, cool skeleton 95? That's a joke. <laughs> the only joke here is how strong my muscles are. O M G. People think Mew Mew Two is better than Mew Mew One. L O L O L. That's a joke, right? O M G. They don't get it. Ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc. My Mew. Even my words are gone! Brave 
correspondent, if you don't defeat all of the mobs, this pig bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible, how disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling.
should watch it after you get through all this. Welcome to our parlor, Diddy. Interested in some spider pastries? All proceeds go to real spiders. Did you hear what they just said? They said a human with a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. with their money. <laughs> oh, you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> ha, I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. <laughs> Muffet traps you. Don't look so blue, my dearie. I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> oh, why so pale? You should be proud. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> uh, you're trapped in a strange purple web. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pets. Hmm. It's breakfast time, isn't it? <laughs> Have fun, you two! Muffet tidies up the web around you. Hmm. The person who warned us about you offered us a lot of money for your soul. They have such a sweet smile, and... <laughs> it's strange. But I swore I saw them in the shadows. Changing shape? With that money, my spider clans can finally be reunited. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? <laughs> Even if they could go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo! <laughs> My cat! Looks like it's time for dessert! Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying they saw you and... <laughs> Even if you are stingy, you never hurt a single spider! Oh my! This has all been a big misunderstanding! I thought you were someone who HATED spiders! The person who asked for that soul must have met a DIFFERENT human in a striped shirt! Sorry for all the trouble! <laughs> I'll make it up to you! You can come back here anytime! And for no charge at all! <laughs> I'll wrap you up and let you play with my bed again! <laughs> Just kidding! I'll spare you now! <sighs> Muffet is sparing you. <laughs> it's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. The tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Hmm. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Oh, the human! <gasps> Cook! 
could it be? My one true love? Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry, there's one last 
thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? You press the button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Check it out! Yeah, check it out! I'm Braddy, and, and this, this is, is my best, best friend, friend Caddy. Pay you 1,000 G if you can get Metaton to autograph my butt. Oh, oh my, my God, Metaton! <laughs> he's like my robot husband. Actually, he's like my robot husband. I think we're like both going to marry him. <laughs> we're both like already married to him. He just like doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alfie's built Metaton, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alfie's was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Freddy, best friends forever! Oh, oh my god, god Alfie's. She used to live on our street. She was, like, a big sister. <laughs> I mean, like, if your big sister... Takes you on trips to the dump. <laughs> She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. <sighs> and then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Elfie's has always, like... Thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she... Made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like... Super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's like seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must like just stay in her lab all day. <laughs> like live a little girl. <laughs> yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's, he's a, a big total goober. goober. 
Like, I love that guy. He's like so nice. God, we're, we're like, like so hyped for the, the destruction, destruction of humanity. humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Like, later, see you later. Stuff. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Great, thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey is almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Heh, <laughs> hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? <sighs> ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's... kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So, one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. Then suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes. A very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So, I keep him coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Heh, <laughs> wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without this bedtime story but she told me to come by again. So I did. Then I did again. And again. It's a thing now, telling bad jokes through the door. <laughs> it rules. One day though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her, you know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? <laughs> buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well... Chalk it up to my great skills. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Cause someone really cares about you. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium. Home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day. Trademark. I'm sorry. <laughs>
It's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. Thanks, C. Have a fabulous day. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. <sighs> so, I wanted to be an actor! Oh, I'm getting on in years. So let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time! Don't live like me! I'm 19 years old, and I've wasted my entire life. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people! Unless you're... Tch, one of them. They're just gonna take advantage of you. Like those two chicks who asked me to sneak them some glam burgers! And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. <sighs> Bad idea. So, I went out to the alley to those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what had happened next. Then, my boss, uh, saw me and asked what I was doing. Ha! I was so startled! The hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground! <laughs> Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me burger pants now. <sighs> when I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy! What? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices, and every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, Oh, that's not how they do it on the surface! Ha! Oh right! Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue! Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle! <sighs> you know, one time I bought one of those, uh, kits online to make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. Ha! Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes! I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me. For everyone! So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. The elevator isn't working. What? That elevator should be working! Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Er, keep heading up! Huh? Yeah, okay. This is on my map. Forget it. Let's try the left side. Out of its hat. <laughs> Magic interrupts you by chattering Twinkle, to itself. Twinkle, twinkle, boy! <laughs> it seems satisfied. You won.
Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. Yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not malfunction, reprogramming, get real. This was all just a big show and act. Alfie's has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. Oh. So, she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. All so she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. All so you would think she's the great person that she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alfie's is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. And finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. <laughs> I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it. Actually, my only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show without a plot twist? Hey, what's going on? The door's just locked back. Oh, sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. But we've got a finale that'll drive you wild. Real drama. Real action. Real bloodshed. Attack on the killer robot! Metaton attacks! Yes, I was the one who rearranged the core. I was the one who hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would have been a hundred times better? <laughs> Killing you myself! That weapon feature won't work on me, darling. Don't you understand what acting is? Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Then, using your soul, I'll cross the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being! Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me! Glitz, glamour, I'm finally have it all! So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby! You tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh! A mirror! Right, I have to look perfect for a grand finale! See it? Where is it? Did you just flip my switch?
you flipped my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments. Absolutely beautiful! Metaton X makes his premiere. Oh. Oh. You turn and scoff at the audience. They're rooting for your destruction this time. I'm the idol everyone craves. Metaton catches it in his mouth and winks. Smile for the camera! Ah. Oh. Oh. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Oh, I'm just warming up. You pose dramatically. The audience nods. But how are you on the dance floor? Hmm. Oh, time for our uni regulated break. We've grown so distant, darling. How about a heart to heart? Despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. The audience applauds. Arms? Uh, who, who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. Come on. Humanity to perish? Or do you really believe in yourself that much? <laughs> How inspiring! Well, darling, it's either me or you, but I think we both already know who's going to win. I guess 
this is the last episode. Um, I'll miss you, Metaton. Um, I didn't mean to talk for so long. Uh, no, wait, wait, blah. Huh? Oh, they already hung up. I I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton! There's a Metaton-shaped hole in my Metaton-shaped heart! Oh, I... I see. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that could never be filled. So, <laughs> I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best, anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is... insufficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and... Well, I'll be all right. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Sorry.
human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day. The next day. The human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. Transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans have once again taken everything from us. decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. Shandor will give us hope. You should be smiling, too! Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free.
You finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. Together, you'll determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of... quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love 2 is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you distance yourself, the less you'll hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. <laughs> but you... You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained... love. Does that make sense? <laughs> maybe not. No. You're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But, if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I'd have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? Heh. <laughs> That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on. So as long as you do what's in your heart. I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Oh? Is someone there? <laughs> Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Hmm. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. <laughs> I want so badly to say, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, but... You know how it is. A nice day today, huh? The birds are singing. The flowers are blooming. The perfect weather for a game of catch. <sighs> you know what we must do. 
Come to the next room. When you're ready. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Ha! Ah, how tense! <laughs> Just think of it like a, a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If not, I understand. I am not ready either. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... if perhaps you have any unfinished business, please, do what you must. Mm. I see. This is it then. Ready? Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with... Determination! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Asgore attacks! You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight. His hands tremble for a moment. Or you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. His attack and defense dropped. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. His attack and defense dropped. Asgore has low HP. <sighs> so that's how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. 
Soon, the people's hope returned. My wife, however, was disgusted by my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. I... Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But... I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I've done to hurt you. <laughs> you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. <laughs> Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit down in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... Like a family. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing? In this world, it's kill or be killed! <laughs> You are huge, thanks! You really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never would have gotten past him. <laughs> but now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls! <laughs> Boy! I've been empty for so long! It feels great to have a soul inside me again! Mm. I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, this is just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become a god. And then, with my newfound powers... Monsters. Humans. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> Golly, if only you had a save file you could run away to. Oh, but you were too stupid to make one. <laughs> but don't worry, your old friend Lowie has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you the bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? 
<laughs> you really are an idiot. Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, they all disappeared without a trace! <laughs> You 
calls for help. Zero! Nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Huh. Nobody else is gonna see you die. <laughs> Stop! Stop! 
Stop it! doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Nice to me. I, I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, is anyone there? So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instituted a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take. But we will get out of here. Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Hmm. Wait a second. I, I recognize this number! <laughs> hey, human! How are you doing? I I'm fine. Uh, uh, well, besides this one thing, the Queen disbanded the Royal Guard! Since we don't have humans to fight anymore. Wow, I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay, because I'm still working hard, even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad, Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that's got it bad. Hmm, she lost her job, then she lost her house. Uh, it was sad. But we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her at his illegal hot dog stand. She hates 
working there. Pudgy makes a mean hot dog. Oh, yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. <laughs> she has this ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible, but I'd like to believe it's not, because... I'd like to go with her! <laughs> then I get to see you again! Even if I'd have to fight you. Well, keep your fingers crossed and keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. <laughs> Bye! Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize being nice just makes you hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So, <laughs> I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things end up like this? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get a better ending? You'll have to start over and, <laughs> well, in the meantime, I just have one question for you, Kara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left and decided to give you a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? See you soon.
So, you came back to have a date with me. You must really be serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of my time. Are you? My house! Welcome to Scenic My House! Enjoy and take your time! It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says... Stay tuned for a new program! Love and TT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Oh, don't judge me. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it! As usual, I have to take responsibility! The rock is covered in sprinkles. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time! Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show! Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Ow, oh, curses! A sans? Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <sighs> my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. <laughs> How absurd! A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. <laughs> That's my room! If you finish looking around, we can go in and, uh, do whatever people do when they date. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah! <laughs> ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa! That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <sighs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. <laughs> Great memories, huh? <sighs> Seems like it was only yesterday even though it basically just happened. So, um, if you've seen everything, 
do you want to start the date? Okay, dating start! Here we are, on our date. I I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged the official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Hmm. Step one, observe the dating hub. Wowee, I feel so informed. Hmm. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three! Put on nice clothes to show you care! Hmm... Wait a second... Wear clothing... That bandana around your head! You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that... Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! No! Could this be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! N no! Your dating power! Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah! What do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further! Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen! Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No! I must resist! I see. I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present for you! Do you know what it is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Ugh. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. Oh, what a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Human, it's clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been... For my sake, human, I want to be happy with you too. It's 
It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... <laughs> Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like this all never happened! After all, you are very great! It would be tragic to lose your friendship! So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you! Because I don't even have lips! And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, uh, here's my number. You can call me anytime, <coughs> platonically. <laughs> well, gotta go. <laughs> Phew. That's Undyne's house. You know, the one with the skeleton in front. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Okay, stand behind me. Psst, make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Oh, uh, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? My friend brought a gift for you, on their own. Uh, thanks, I'll, uh... Put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Oh, whoopsie daisy! I just remembered! I have to, uh, use the bathroom! Um, you two have fun! <sighs> so why are you here? Drop your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Hmm. <sighs> so why are you here? Wait, I get it! You think I want to be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? Oh, how delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever want to be friends with you? <laughs> if you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams! I will never be your friend. Now, get out of my house! Ugh, dang! 
What a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But, hmm, I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Ugh, damn it! Ugh, he thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? One time, Alfie's, a uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Wanna see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! <laughs> well, maybe some nerds. Suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, the giant swords! Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Ah, I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one! So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's pretty smart, huh? It's so... Nice to have you over. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set? What would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! <sighs> um, why not just point to what you want? <laughs> Tea, huh? Coming right up. <laughs> It'll just take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot-headed when I was a kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him! And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back! I was humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on he trained me. 
One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I never seen anyone more proud to get their butt kicked. A anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So, I'm the one who gets to train dorks out of fights. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that! I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, but he ended up making friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd be ripped into smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know. Oh, uh, sorry, I was taking so long. Uh, you're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. <laughs> Wait a second. A papyrus, his cooking lesson! He was supposed to have that right now! Huh? And if he's not going to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Yeah! <laughs> That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means if I give you his lesson, We'll become closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid, we're going to be best friends! Let's start with the sauce! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound them to death with your fists! How will you pound? You punch the vegetable full force. You knock the tomato over. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts uniting against these healthy ingredients. Yeah! Uh, we'll just scrape these into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy Star Brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. Oh yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta! As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Stir harder! 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 Uh, let me do it! <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stove symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hotter! Hotter, darn it! Order! Wait, that's you! <laughs> ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Uh, some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends... It means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. 
I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't even care if you're my guest anymore! One final rematch! All out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride! Now come on! Hit me with all you've got! Undyne is letting you attack first. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might! What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <sighs> you know what? I... don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick. But... The way you hit me right now... It reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! Just like him. Listen, human. It seems like you and Asgore fated to fight. But... Knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead! <laughs> that makes sense, right? <laughs> oh. And if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? Now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Uh, well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So... If you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Well, see you later, punk. Hey! Uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Um, human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm at Snowden, in front of Papyrus's. <laughs> See ya, punk! Letter to Dr. Alfie's. Huh? Well, why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal. But we're friends, so I'll tell you. That land sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much! You're the best! No mail 
small slot. Slide the letter under. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. What? Oh no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. <laughs> um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Hmm. Wait a second. Hey, if this is some kind of joke, it's... Oh, my God! <laughs> Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you... Um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. <laughs> Much less, um, this, and so passionately, too. And you know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. <laughs> yeah, let's go on a date. Dating? Uh, start? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> How do I look? My, uh, <laughs> friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, uh, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating? Start! Hey, wait, actually, we can't start the date yet. Dating? Start? Uh, um... I've actually got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the success outcome of the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um... <laughs> Maybe you can't use that. Uh, but I've also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, uh, um. <laughs> hey, let's forget about items. Let's just start the date. Dating? Start! Yeah, let's, uh, Date! and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. She's really... Uh... <gasps> oh no! That's her over there! I can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because... Uh, well... Oh no! Here she comes! Hey! There you are! I, uh... Realized if... You deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it! Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it? No! What? Have you at least seen her? 
No, but she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? <sighs> oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on a, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you. To make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. You messed up again. Undyne is the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Uh, not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne... She's so confident, and strong, and funny. I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me! Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Hear what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Roleplay? Hmm. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which of us will be Undyne? Oh. <laughs> right. Obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you today? <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so, I'd like to talk to you about something. Um, you see, I, I haven't been. Exactly truthful with you. You see, I, I, I. Oh, forget it. I'm dying. I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. I'm dying. I can't take this anymore. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. Hold me. What did you just say? Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, no. I mean, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? Uh, about what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, Anime, <laughs> they aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. That time I, I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't just some nerdy loser. Alphys. I'm trying. I, I really think you're neat. Alphys. Okay? Shh. What? Elvis! I 
think you're neat too. Yes. But you gotta realize, most of what you just said doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kids' cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap! What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical, it doesn't matter what it is, you care about it! 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to any of me. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... you're gonna train me? <laughs> what, me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Aha! Get those bones a shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer! Uh, I'm trying. I'll do my best. Oh my god, she, she was kidding, right? The, those cartoons, the, those comics. <laughs> Th those are still real, right? Enemy is real, right? No. No! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces! <sighs> no. I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, human. For telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later! It's a note from Alphys. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey! Thanks for all your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't make my own problems magically go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I need to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, I want you to know the truth. Enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Souls. 
souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone from outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. But what will happen if I inject some determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned to dust, so I can't get the souls. I told their families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. There's a key lying in the sink. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. like a comfortable bed. Lie on it. There's a switch on the wall.
It's the amalgamate. It bounds toward you, lacking a strange liquid from an orifice. Amalgamate is hovering close, looking for affection. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Endogeny is contented. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. <laughs> Smells like sweet lemons. You called for help. Nobody came. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's so cold. It's so cold. You told the bad pun about the bad pun about the bad Her expression is to express. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. You found a blue key on the ground. You put it on your keychain. The green key fits perfectly into the slot. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. Will you watch one? Favorite vegetable. 
Carrots, right? Bah, no, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? <clears throat> Go back to that. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Pomeranian. <laughs> child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I am going to bed. Oh, hey, come on, Dory, that one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. dark in here for the video to come out. Okay, Kara. Are you ready? <laughs> Do your creepy face.
just have to get six. And we'll do it together. Right. You kneel and pray for safety. Whimsalot remembers its conscience. You did something mysterious. Final Froggit recognizes it has more to learn from this world. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Sure, there will be times when I struggle, 
I'm sure there will be times when I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Perhaps you have any unfinished business. Please, do what you must. Hmm. I see. This is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with... Determination! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye.
What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let's suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori! You... came back! Do not Tori me, dreamer! You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone, peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Ugh. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature, but do... You think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. <laughs> yeah! Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other! Everybody's gonna be friends or else I'll... Uh... Uh... Oh, hello. I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I am Torio. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fights anyone! If, if anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst, human, did Asgore shave and, uh, clone himself? Hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. It's so nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and, uh, the same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Oh, wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. I yeah, Asgore. Undyne is totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you gotta. Uh, <laughs> Stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, to just get to know a really cute fish? <laughs> it's a metaphor. <laughs> well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god, will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey! Shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Alphys? Mm. No, he's right. Let's do it! Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back! Wait! Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But, looking at all the great friends you've made, 
I think... I think you'll be happy here. Hey... That reminds me... Papyrus... You called everyone here, right? Well... Besides... Uh... Her... Uh, anyway... If I got here before you... How did you know to call everybody? Hmm... Let's just say... A tiny flower helps me. A tiny... flower? You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, <laughs> I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine, too! <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. <laughs> all because you made them love you! All that time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the human souls together, oh, I will achieve my real form! <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game! If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win the game, you won't want to play with me anymore. <laughs> and what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. <laughs> over, and over, and over! <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back, I'll destroy the barrier, everyone will finally be satisfied, but that won't happen! You. I'll keep you here no matter what. <laughs> Even if it means killing you a million times. <laughs> what? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! I believe in you! Hey, human! If you got past me, you can do anything! So don't worry! We're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. But Nikki, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Well, let's do it. You got this. You got the win. Do it, Ribbit. Oh, no. unbelievable! This can't be happening. You... you... <laughs> I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine! <laughs> 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 So tired of being a flower. Uh. Howdy. Kara, are you there? It's me. Your best friend. The end. You know, I don't even 
care about destroying this world anymore. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I'll just want to reset everything. All of your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero! Then we can do everything all over again! And you know what the best part of this is? <laughs> You'll do it! But it refused. It's the end! And then you'll lose to me. Again. And again. And again! Because you want a happy ending. Because you love your friends. Because you never give up! <laughs> Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall! <sighs> Enough messing around! It's time to purge this timeline once and for all! standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this! Way. Behold my true power. You can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little bit more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. <laughs> Still hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in the next life. seems like the only way to defeat him, but you lack the power to do it. Seems saving the game really is impossible. Maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. You reached out to Azriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating! A lost soul appeared. You tapped the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die! Suddenly, memories come flooding back. Well, 
Some humans are okay, I guess. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. You hate me, don't you? Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. I must have a human! Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, wait! Oh, my friends! I can never no. count to you! I'm rooting for you, kid. You tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him. No matter what, this is for your great good. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You can feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Strangely, as your friends remember you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems there's still one more person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Don't actually want to hurt you. You know what I mean. 
but like a family. I'm so alone, Kara. I'm so afraid, Kara. Kara, I... I... Actually, Kara, are you? Kara's been gone for a long time. Uh, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. They all care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. <laughs> Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. Has no excuse for what I've done. cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. souls. I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. I... 
don't want to let go. Frisk, you... You're gonna do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. And by the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me. Just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you're awake. Oh, thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out for forever. Yeah. <laughs> Any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What'd you catch? Tears. Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. How about we give them some space first? They must be very exhausted, though, from what, I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the east door will lead there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the Queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You're two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Well, we're not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Hmm. Why is that? Well... Because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? Oh, it's a pity smile. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? <laughs> well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? <laughs> then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? <sighs> Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out, and, um, no, I should be honest, I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. <laughs> That's the spirit! Yeah! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me! Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow. It's even better than on TV. <laughs> Way better. 
Better than I ever imagined. Frisk! You live with this? The sunlight is so nice! And the air is so fresh! Hey, Sags! What's with that giant ball? We call that... the sun, my friend. That's the sun?! Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we really should think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression! Well, someone's gonna keep him from getting into trouble. <laughs> See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Uh, Papyrus, wait! Uh, hey, Undyne, wait up! Uh, <clears throat> um, whoops. <laughs> uh, should I do something? Well, uh, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So, you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. <laughs> It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need, all right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us.
about me. <laughs> Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please, leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break all their hearts again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebot are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Or was it fate? Or was it... Because... You... Well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Kara climbed the mountain. It... Wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Kara hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different than Kara. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe... The truth is, Kara wasn't really the greatest person. While, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So, maybe I was projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some pretty weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. When Kara and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that actually picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up as a flower. Frisk, this whole time, I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is in here. There are a lot of flowies out there, and not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Frisk, don't you have anything better to do?